Dear Professor Shimon Ignasiuk, with the talk, a physical interpretation of the membership to Kaplan classes of certain function. Please. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Professor. Um, so I will talk about Kaplan classes uh, as well as Machi, because um, our, this is also the results obtained together with him. Uh, but I will talk about uh, um, other aspects of uh, Kaplan classes physical interpretation of the membership to, uh, membership to the Kaplan classes. Uh, and I will start with um, uh, considering some uh, uh, subclasses of all uh, analytic functions in the unique disk. Uh, so A is the class of all functions F such that uh, F0 is equal to zero, F prim zero is equal to one. Um, S is the class of all univalent functions belonging to A. Uh, C is the class of all functions belonging to S, which map D on a uh, close to convex uh, set. Uh, HD is the class of all analytic functions F such that F0 is equal to a one and uh, F is non-zero in D. Uh, so we can roughly say that uh, HD is the uh, class of uh, derivative of, uh, of uh, functions from A, roughly speaking. And now we can um, I, I will uh, show the definition once more uh, of Kaplan classes. So for all uh, alpha, beta, greater or equal to zero uh, by Kaplan class K uh, alpha, beta, we call the set of all functions F belonging to HD, satisfying the following condition. And yes, you have in this condition on the right side of this condition, you have the difference between uh, between uh, arguments of a function f, so between angles of uh, uh, of uh, we can say be between angles of uh, functions f um, obtained at uh, two points uh, from the same uh, circle uh, of the radius uh, r. Um, okay, I will skip this and go to the uh, Yakangiri's results. This is uh, the results from. Uh, the result from uh, 1987, and uh, he proved some theorem about uh, belongings to uh, Kaplan classes uh, of the polynomial uh, of such uh, form. So we've got here a product of uh, binomials uh, one plus z uh, times e to the power i phi k. Mm, so this uh, this is a basic binomial. Uh, and the zero of this uh, binomial uh, is in uh, uh, um, in uh, location connected with this uh, phi k. Uh, so let we see. Uh, we can see that uh, this polynomial belongs to class uh, to Kaplan class k alpha beta if and only if. And we have this condition uh, together with these conditions. Uh, but um, let's uh, let's uh, look at this condition. And you can see here that there is a a difference between uh, these uh, phi, phi n plus m minus phi l. Uh, so um, here we've got this uh, difference between uh, these uh, uh, localizations in angular uh, uh, um, sense, uh, the localizations of zeros of this uh, polynomial. Mm, uh, so uh, so um, his work was uh, titled A Gap Condition. So, and this is this gap condition, a, a, con, a gap condition between uh, zeros of this polynomial. And the, uh, as you can see, this uh, condition together with this is quite uh, quite difficult. And uh, the result is not for all alpha, beta, uh, greater uh, or equal to zero, but a little bit uh, uh, limited. And so uh, first thing we uh, did uh, with uh, Maciej was uh, to uh, a little bit um, extend this result. So we, def uh, we define polynomials Wn, uh, very similar to this uh, Yahangiris ones, uh, which have zeros in the points uh, e to the power i uh, times tk. Uh, so um, uh, all the zeros of these polynomials are uh, located on the uh, unit circle. Uh, just as uh, 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 Yahangiri's polynomials. Uh, and um, this Tn is the sequence of uh, uh, 
T1, T2, uh, Tn. Uh, um, so this is the, we can say that this is the sequence of localizations of zeros of uh, polynomial Wn. Uh, okay, so now we've got a, a slide with some technical, uh, uh, technical here, uh, uh, um, technical stuff. Um, the most important thing here is this uh, P0, uh, pi zero, pi k, pi n. Uh, and as you can see, these are uh, half planes. Um, and the conditions here are one sided. So when you see the, uh, this um, condition uh, given by uh, Yahangiri, this condition was two sided. Uh, so that's why we, uh, was, it was a little bit complicated. And we've got here uh, these half planes, which are uh, one sided. Uh, given by y-sided inequalities. And uh, this pi is an intersection uh, of these uh, uh, half planes. And that, uh, in this way, we can uh, formulate uh, theorem three. This is our uh, theorem, uh, uh, which um, uh, states when uh, polynomial Wn belongs to Kaplan uh, class K uh, alpha beta. And this is this theorem. So for all alpha beta greater or equal to zero, Wn uh, belongs to Kaplan class K alpha beta if and only if alpha beta belongs to pi. Um, so as you can see, this condition is easier than uh, the one given by uh, Yahangiri. Uh, here we have two sides of this uh, uh, inequality uh, of this condition, two, two side uh, two side inequality. Uh, um, and some additional uh, conditions for LM. It's not easy to uh, check uh, uh, if uh, polynomial, uh, uh, for what, for what uh, in which uh, Kaplan classes polynomial uh, belong to. Uh, um, here it is, uh, uh, in our theorem, it is simple. You have just uh, um, uh, open, uh, open uh, formulas, explicit formulas. Colorado, I can skip, I can skip this as well because uh, I am uh, going toward, I'm moving toward uh, uh, this physical interpretation. So I will skip this, uh, this, okay. I will show this example. So we've got three polynomials of uh, degree four, uh, P, Q, R, and, uh, and as you can see, these are three different polynomials, uh, but Kaplan classes for polynomials P and Q are uh, the same. Uh, what I can uh, say about it more is that um, since uh, uh, alpha beta uh, should be uh, um, greater or equal to zero, so uh, the set of all Kaplan classes uh, uh, these uh, polynomials belong to uh, uh, has to be uh, in the first quarter of a coordinate system. So uh, as you can see, it is in uh, first quarter. Uh, and this uh, this uh, set is uh, open in this, uh, this um, uh, and in this, uh, oh, I lost the word. Um, uh, in this, uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, in north and in uh, east. Mm, and what more? Mm, okay. So now we are uh, coming to the generalizations of polynomials. So uh, these results, uh, this result, uh, theorem three, is only uh, raffination of uh, result, uh, Yahangiri's result. Uh, but uh, now we are uh, going to a generalization of the Yahangiri's results. So we uh, use uh, um, generalization of polynomials. And so we've got functions fn, uh, uh, which is a product of uh, fk to the power pk. Uh, and fk is uh, binomial uh, um, in um, the same binomial as we have uh, had in, uh, 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 in, uh, in this polynomial theorem. Uh, but this polyno these binomials are uh, raised to the power pk. Um, so uh, in this notation, Fn, uh, here is uh, Tn is uh, uh, the sequence uh, 
uh, of localizations of zero uh, of zeros of uh, this uh, of this uh, function, and p n is uh, the sequence of powers uh, uh, the binomials are uh, raised to. Mm. Okay. Mm, okay. Now um, uh, here is um, I want to uh, um, emphasize this definition of uh, um, tau c as the uh, arc length of uh, every arc of um, T that contains zeros of functions f n such that the sum of these powers uh, uh, is greater or equal to c, uh, and s is a sum of uh, p k s. And now we've got no, I will skip them eight and go to the move to the theorem nine. Uh, so we've got here um, we've got here a theorem which uh, uh, which show show us uh, shows us uh, where this um, functions f n uh, to to what uh, couple of classes uh, this functions f n belong belongs to, uh, and uh, f n uh, belongs to Kaplan class K uh, alpha. Beta, beta given in this form, uh, if and only if for every m from uh, from this interval, the arc length of uh, tau m uh, of every arc uh, of t has to satisfy this condition. Uh, so as you can see um, in this theorem, uh, um, um, how to say all technical stuff is uh, is uh, hidden. Uh, uh, this theorem, uh, uh, we do not have uh, this uh, technical uh, technical stuff that I gave uh, before uh, theorem for uh, polynomials. Uh, so um, this is quite a shorter version uh, of uh, uh, of the theorem free and for uh, more generalized uh, uh, function. Um, okay, and we will uh, we will um, come back to this theorem nine. Um, when I would talk about the, uh, this physical uh, uh, interpretation or interpretation of uh, 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 of these Kaplan classes, uh, so first I will show the example ten. Uh, consider such functions; these are uh, polynomials uh, of degree three, um, uh, which all have zeros in the same places, but uh, powers uh, are changing here. And as you can see, these powers are uh, just the permutations of three powers, one uh, square root of two and e. And uh, now um, uh, the following pictures show uh, complete membership to Kaplan classes of uh, uh, these functions f1, f2, and f3, f4, f5, and f6. And as you can see, these functions uh, uh, f1 and f2 Belong, uh, belong to this Kaplan classes, uh, uh, F3 and 4 uh, to this Kaplan classes, F5 and F6 to this Kaplan classes. Mm, uh, so as you can see, um, uh, these powers also change uh, uh, Kaplan classes. Um, and now we have some um, geometric interpretation. Uh, I um, talked about the, uh, this angular difference, uh, which is in uh, definition of Kaplan classes. And uh, um, our chairman uh, asked uh, Maciej about uh, some geometric interpretation of Kaplan classes. So we've got uh, some, uh, some here. And as you can see, um, I gave this uh, draw, uh, this feature as a, um, I would call it a vector uh, field. Uh, um, so, uh, as you can see, this, the, uh, here are the zeros of this uh, function. Uh, I uh, choose function f1. And um, since I will show this function f1, so this is a polynomial with zeros uh, uh, locally, localized on this, uh, these points and with powers uh, 1 square root of 2 and e. Uh, so, this uh, uh, powers uh, are rising, and as you can see, the uh, the bigger uh, the power, the more uh, uh, change in this uh, uh, angular uh, um, uh, angles of these uh, vectors, uh, this zero uh, 
uh, uh, gives us. So uh, uh, here we've got a power ones and the change in vectors is small. Here, here this change is bigger. Um, so the influence of this point is bigger than this. Uh, and now we can uh, come back to this theorem nine, but now we will try to give this uh, physical interpretation as uh, is in uh, the title of uh, the speech. Um, so uh, let us interpret the symbols in the considered function and theorem nine as, uh, so let's take a pick, uh, let's interpret PK as masses at a point uh, e uh, to the power i uh, times dk. Mm. And I think this is a natural uh, interpretation, so, uh, interpretation. And I saw it in many physical uh, uh, papers. So I think it, it is a quite natural interpretation. And as a consequence, we have, uh, if S is a sum of PKs, then uh, S is also a mass. We can say this is total mass of the system. Uh, M, um, since this M, um, this M was, um, uh, this M is in the subscript of tau. So um, uh, uh, as I said about the tau that, uh, tau C was the arc of every arc of T that contains zeros of functions Fn such that the sum of the powers is greater or equal to C. So we've, uh, then uh, in the theorem nine, we have uh, M here. Uh, so um, uh, this is the sum of powers that is greater uh, to M. Uh, so M has to be also mass, uh, the mass of the arc uh, of uh, arc length uh, tau M. Uh, uh, and now uh, let's interpret alpha as a change in the mass uh, of the arc, rho as a, a minimal density, uh, rho as a density, and uh, why it has to be in this term uh, a minimal density of mass uh, m minus alpha on arc of arc length uh, tau m for all m from this interval. Uh, because uh, uh, Kaplan classes, and uh, as I show in uh, in example, um, the um, um, the more in uh, west and uh, um, and south we are in the picture, the the, be the better are uh, Kaplan classes. So uh, the smaller row, the better. So and um, and you can see here that. Okay, uh, the smaller row, the better uh, is this Kaplan class. But uh, here, this uh, this right side uh, right side of this inequality uh, rises. So uh, this is the the limitation. So uh, uh, since this condition has to be uh, uh, satisfied, um, and now uh, so we've got here tau m. This is the uh, length. M minus alpha, this is the mass. Mass divided by uh, by density, so we've got here uh, also length. So we've got the same physical, uh, we can interpret it as a uh, as an inequality in the uh, uh, of the same uh, same uh, object. Um, and we, if we uh, come here, if we look at this uh, Kaplan class K alpha uh, comma, uh, this is uh, beta in this form. Uh, so let us, uh, because one could say, okay, you choose uh, this, um, uh, this, um, inter this interpretation such that, uh, okay, here you've got, here you've got length and here you've got length, but some, someone would, uh, would, would, someone can say that it is uh, artificial, but if we can, uh, if we, uh, go here, so we can see that uh, here we've got alpha, so this is mass, and uh, after comma we've got here, here we've got mass, S is also mass, so we've got here mass, uh, and we've got here 2 pi times rho. Uh, 2 pi is a length of uh, uh, unit circle, so uh, 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 times rho, it's also mass. So we've got, uh, we could, uh, we can say that uh, that these Kaplan classes are for 
mass, comma, mass, and it, it matches uh, for us. Uh, 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 um, because um, uh, we are not phys uh, physicists, so uh, we do not have uh, uh, enough uh, uh, knowledge in physics, but uh, we, uh, we gave this uh, a simple, uh, or I would say basic interpretation of Kaplan classes. And uh, what is uh, open problem? Uh, what are open problems here? So, mm, as as I said, we gave only a basic interpretation, uh, indication of a real uh, physical experiment to which the above results could be applied. It would uh, help a lot uh, because then it would be an uh, artificial. It would be some a real physical experiment where the results would. Uh, mathematical uh, uh, results would uh, would um, uh, explain the physics, uh, and only then is the physical interpretation for Kaplan classes, but not necessary in terms of mass and density. Uh, secondly, extending the interpretation to cases where zeros uh, are outside the unit circle. So, Yahangiri's um, uh, uh, results our results for polynomials uh, uh, and our results for this generalization of uh, uh, generalizations of polynomials, uh, all these functions have zeros on the unit circle. Uh, uh, and uh, we do not have even mathematical results for, uh, for functions which have, uh, uh, for these functions which could say, uh, we can say, uh, we can call them uh, uh, polynomial type. But we do not have, uh, even for such functions, we do not have uh, mathematical results for uh, when the zeros are outside the unit circle. And uh, if uh, there would be such an interpretation, uh, it would it might help to uh, to uh, to um, solve the problem from the mathematical uh, point of view. And uh, free extending the interpretation to cases where other types of functions are considered. Uh, so, as I said, uh, um, these are uh, in, uh, we've got um, um, solutions for uh, uh, polynomials. We've got solutions for polynomial types functions or generalizations of the polynomials. But um, uh, we do not have uh, results for. Uh, other uh, types of functions. So uh, maybe, uh, 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 or even the, uh, extending the interpretations to these cases might help in mathematical uh, uh, solutions uh, to solving uh, mathematical problems. Uh, and it's almost all from, uh, from, uh, from me. Uh, here are some references. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, this Yahangidis uh, uh, paper. This is this uh, title, A Gap Condition for the Zeros of Certain Polynomials. And uh, thank you for your attention.